Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel where I review all kinds of books but mainly lean towards darker fiction and also document my journey to becoming a published horror writer myself. So today I want to talk about a recent read of mine and a recently published book by a great author and it is Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. So this book is the story of Chris. She is a 40 something year old woman who has recently lost her adult son to a tragic and terrible car crash. Um, it's been a couple of years, it's coming up on the anniversary and she is still not moving on, not coping very well. Her ex-husband who they broke up a very long time ago, um, he has a new wife and he has other children um, that sort of take his mind off the grief and the loss. But she is alone and despite there being a, an interested neighbour who would like to ask for it on a date, um, she sort of pushes people away and she keeps them at arm's length so that she can continue to not fully accept that her son has died. Um, she still continues to talk to him. She almost nightly uh, visits the place, not his grave, but the place where his body was actually found um, and she's just not dealing with the grief very well but one night as she's watching a ghost hunting TV show she comes across the story of a crossroads demon. This is an entity that you can make a sacrifice to in order to bring back a loved one or grant a wish or whatever and she decides to bury something of his in the ground and something of hers in order to initiate some sort of um, sacrifice and she doesn't fully believe it's going to work but then she begins to actually see her son uh, standing outside her house and as time goes on he gets closer, they begin to talk but he begins to weaken and she realises that she needs to make larger and larger sacrifices of her own flesh and blood in order to try and keep him with her. But the question is, is this really her son? And how far is she willing to go on just the chance that it might be and that she might be saving her son? So this is... I mean, it's her second book, I have her first one, which I love, which is Whispers in the Dark. Um, again, fantastic, fantastic female characters. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised, but um, she does, uh, Laurel Hightower does write fantastic uh, three-dimensional uh, female characters um, and male characters as well, but they really, they have rich interior lives, rich exterior lives and her writing is just so it really grabs you, you're really there, you're with the characters, you're with them on this entire journey you want them to get what they want um, and this was just a really heartbreaking story um, you could see where the mistakes were being made and you just at the same time, it's it's a story about grief and it's a story about the things that grief can do to your mind and how crazy it can make you. And um, I absolutely understand the the idea of being willing to do absolutely anything to bring someone back. Um, and it is just it's heartbreaking. There is some some gore and some blood in it. There's there's also a lot of sweetness in it and there's, it's really, it is a sad book, um, it is, it is not a light um, summer read or anything, um, but it is very well written, uh, it's very well paced and it is quite short, you could read this in a day. It's about loneliness, it's about grief, it's about loss and the main character Chris is just so real and she's so so there and such a strong character um she really really carries the story on her back and um she does it well Hightower is very good with um her economy of words she never really overstates anything 
she keeps words to a minimum and she says a lot with the words that she does use. I really like her writing, I really like her characters and I really like what she puts them through which <laughs> sounds terrible but um, yeah they're very believable, their actions are very believable as well and while Chris does some wild things in this it's it completely matches with the character and what the character is going through at this time so absolutely check out Crossroads by Laurel Hightower and her debut Whispers in the Dark by Laurel Hightower this is a little bit a little bit chunkier but um, still very good and absolutely check out Crossroads you will not regret that um, so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the brand new subscribers that I have gotten in the last while I have I've started filming some of my October videos so I have a packed month coming up let me know if you've read Laurel Hightower before or if uh, Crossroads or Whispers in the Dark is on your TBR because it definitely should be and I shall see you in the next video